This morning, an emergency on the runway in Tokyo. This aircraft bursting into flames at Haneda Airport. The plane collided with another plane operated by the Japanese Coast Guard, according to the Coast Guard spokesperson. All of the nearly 400 people on the passenger plane are safe. The Coast Guard saying they're looking into the reports. It seems unrelated to the series of earthquakes that have rocked Japan. As first responders desperately look for survivors, the death toll on Japan's western coast already rising, more than 45 dead after a series of earthquakes, including a magnitude 7.6 that struck Monday afternoon. The quake, the largest the region has seen in decades, violently shaking train platforms and houses, sparking a massive fire that burned for hours. People in malls and shops scrambling for safety, but as the sun rises across the region, a look at the scope of the devastation and loss. This woman surveying the damage of her home, debris everywhere and walls caved in. She says, I don't think we can live here anymore. She joins dozens of others now left without a place to live. Near the epicenter, smoke and embers still filled the air. Officials say this region was among the hardest hit. Homes and buildings flattened, private roads and streets buckled, cutting off access to people trapped on the other side. And we are now learning that that Coast Guard plane was in fact set to deliver aid to the areas affected by the earthquake. Uh, that's according to the transport minister, as Japan is using boats and aircrafts as a way of getting supplies to those in need. Hoda? Yeah, a lot for that country to handle. All right, Megan Fitzgerald for us. Megan, thank you. Oh. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.